Here's a quick walkthrough of Convertix to DVD4, software to convert and burn various video files to DVD so that they can play in any DVD player. So basically we want to start off by adding video files. So we can do that by pressing the green icon and double clicking on a file. Or we can do that by going ahead and dragging and dropping files into the interface. And from here, we basically, all we need to do is click on convert, and if a blank DVD is inserted, the conversion will happen and the burning will start automatically as well if the DVD is blank. And that's all there is to it. But as we're here, let's go ahead and look at the other settings that ConvertX to DVD has. Um, to look at the preview, we can click on a video file added and use the cursor down here bottom to seek through the video file. And let's check out the menu. We could do that by pressing DVD options. And now let's get into what we can change. So I can double click on the template used and change that by scrolling down and selecting a template and using the check mark box. Here we go, and we see that all actualizing here in the preview. And we have various settings here. We won't go through each one. Uh, we can change the title here. We can change this to hello. If I type that correctly. And we can change the color of that if we want as well. Maybe we can put it into red. And press the checkbox. And that's an example. We can also change the background image. It could be a video. It can be an image. We can add audio for the background menu as well. Um, here the thumbnails we see are actually th will be thumbnails of the videos we've added to our projects. So uh, that will be the video actually playing in the menu then, so you know which video to select when you're watching the DVD menu. Alright, now for the title sets. If we click on one we can see that Convertix to DVD will already automatically create chapter points. So we have those. We can add more by right-clicking and selecting Add Chapter. We also see that a subtitle file has been detected and has been added. You can add more subtitles by right-clicking and going to locate that subtitle and adding it to the video. All right. So let's look at the global settings here. Um, you have DVD specification for settings for PAL and for NTSC if you're in North America, uh, burning settings and video processing settings, all sorts of settings including the DVD menus, the chapters, and so forth. So basically that's all there is to it. You add your files, you press convert, and you can burn automatically if you want to or you can burn later by going to action, burn an already converted project, I didn't mention it, but you can also merge files, so if you want more files, for example, if this is CD1, you can right-click and merge more files to that and add the CD2 to that, so that way they only appear as one file in the menu. Anyway, that's it for this brief walkthrough, but there's many settings. It's a great, easy, fast, easy tool to use, so uh, you can check it out.